Hey, welcome back to the Mods YouTube channel. Today we're going to learn about surface tension. All right, welcome back to the Eco Discovery Center here at the Museum of Discovery and Science. My name is Michael. Joining me today is our educator, Brady. Today we're talking surface tension. What is surface tension, Brady? So surface tension is a force that occurs when molecules are bonded together. If you've ever maybe been at the beach and jumped into the water and you can go into the water just like a rock or something, but then you look out on the horizon and you see these huge ships uh, just floating right there. Uh, it's the way that the weight of those ships are spread across and balance of the surface tension of the water. Okay, so I, I see that we have just a quick experiment here in front of us. Mm -hmm. It's just a penny in a petri dish. What are we doing with this? So we're going to experiment with, uh, with surface tension by taking our pipette here and getting some water out of our beaker and seeing how many individual drops of water we can fit on a penny okay. before the surface tension breaks and the water spills off the surface of the penny. Okay. Okay, I think we could do that. So, so let's fill up our pipettes and start counting. I already, and we go I already with lost. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, so, thirteen. But so I I've got thirteen drops on this penny, and you can kind of see this glassy kind of bubbly action happening here, and that's so just from the bonds of those wall and water molecules. I've got the molecules. same thing though, don't I? Or uh, it's not on the penny. You kind of, you're not on the penny, <laughs> but yeah, you do have. You don't see the water like each drop spreading apart from each other because water gets very sticky the way that those molecules bond together. So I, I'm looking at yours right now, mm -hmm. and that's a just it's really good. But so would you almost say like it creates like a shield around the water, keeping it just yeah, it looks almost like glass. It looks almost like a protective glass over the penny. And right? is there a way to like get in? to that bubble without breaking the bubble? So, no, I've kind of created a bubble and you can kind of, if you just gently go through the surface tension. Right. And again, just the way that you uh, go into it, the way that the weight is balanced and how much space you're taking up uh, is gonna allow you to either spill the water over or go right in there. So if I just smash my hand on that, it probably isn't gonna work out very well, huh? That's right. Oh, perfect. Thank you for showing us that. All right. So then I guess my, my next question is, because I've seen this, but I'm looking at this next experiment, and this is just a flask with window screen on top? Yeah. So there's some window screen put across the top of this, and that's to kind of just help shorten the gap that the water molecules are going to have to go for this next experiment. And I'm going to let you have a try at this one. Oh, so great. Thanks. I want you to take out a card from your wallet. I think we already have. I already here. did, right here. Okay. I'm ready. And I want you to put it across the top of that screen. Okay. Okay. Now make sure it's firm across the top. Okay. And give the whole flask a good flip over. Like turn this upside down. Turn it upside down. Keep the card on top of it for now. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try to do this without. Okay. There you go. Okay. So let it settle there for just a second, let those water molecules bond together, and let's see what happens uh, when you slowly slide the card out of there. Is there a bowl or you got, you got something in case I, I my, oh, fantastic. All right, so here we go, we're gonna, you said just slide the just card. Just slide it out and let's see what happens. Okay. I'm a little scared. Nothing to be afraid of. So what did we see happen here? Why isn't the water leaving? So intuition would tell us that gravity would be pulling the water out of the flask and down onto the floor, right? Right. But we're taking into account the power of the surface tension of the water. Stretching across that screen, the bonds of those water molecules as a whole is strong enough to hold the rest of the water into the beaker. And just like I could put a little bit of my pipette into the bubble of water that uh, developed over my penny, I can maybe try to take a toothpick or two. Oh my get goodness, it look at that. In there, just That's to kind so of crazy. show you that there's no funny business going on here. Uh, we're going to get. Not a magic trick here, right? A couple of toothpicks in here, just to show you that this is all being held by the surface tension going across that screen. But does that mean the water is forever going to stay in this flask? The water is going to forever stay in the flask until some other force comes into play. Like if I were to break the surface tension of the water, all the water will become spilling out. Huh, that's awesome. That's so crazy. 
Well, thank you so much for talking to us about surface tension today. We hope you enjoy, and we'll see everybody next time. If you enjoyed what you saw, give us a like, and make sure you subscribe below. See you next time.